There's a better place to get your podcast. GCNlive.com. Hundreds of thousands of hours. Archive for your listening pleasure. All free at GCNlive.com. My first guest this morning is Gerald Salente, founder and director of the Trends Research Institute. He's a trends forecaster, publisher of the Trends Journal, and founder of the Trends Research Institute in 1980. He's based out of Kensington, New York. And one of my favorite things about him is that he's a black belt close combat practitioner and refers to himself as the martial artist of trend forecasting. And good morning, Gerald. It's good to have you on with us today. Uh, Good morning. Thank you for having me. (laughs) <laughs> My pleasure. I've been listening to you for many years. I consider you to be one of the most informed individuals in the media today, and it's a pleasure to have you on the Power Hour this morning. And I wanted to kind of start off this morning because I know you can you can pretty much carry the show on your own. I've listened to you do it many times. Can you go ahead and let us know what you think the forecasts for 2015 are going to be and what we should, in America should be prepared for? We've got a, about four minutes on this first segment, and we've got a long segment coming up after that. Well, you know, the, uh, most people, of course, when you look at the polls uh, the last election, of which only uh, 36% of the people went out, uh, the major issue is the economy. Where is it going? What's going to happen? And uh, when you look again at the turnout of the polls, you can see what most people believe, and they're right. It's going nowhere fast, and it's more of the same but worse. So uh, on on the reality level of it is, and once they stop pumping dough into the system, the economy starts going down. So our forecast is that this is not capitalism anymore. And people say, oh, there's a failure. Cap-. No, it's not. It's bankism. And that's one of our top trends. And that trend is being written, but we came up with the concept and, the, and where it's going. And Nomi Prinz, who wrote that great book uh, that's out there now, All the President's Bankers, is the person writing the story. <clears throat> Four words killed capitalism. Too big to fail. Period, paragraph. In capitalism, no one's too big to fail. So that's that's where the economy is going. It's totally being manipulated, which is the second trend, the grand manipulation. Everything is manipulated, whether it's in banking, whether it's in the media, whether it's in politics. It's the grand manipulation. And we don't say this is throwing out a cheap concept, you know, to get people riled up. The facts are in the actions, and the actions are these. They read the LIBOR rate. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's what determines interest rates to the tune of over $700 trillion. Rigged. They caught the people. Yeah, but we'll only give them a fine because they're finer than we are. They never do any time. They only break our jobs. And what else do they rig? Well, they rig the Forex market. Well, that's the market that uh, – yeah, $5.3 trillion a day worth of currency trading. And they rig gold. Everything is rigged. The media is rigged. You see the stories coming out with the CIA, all of this stuff, how they persuade the media what to do and how to do it and when to tell it and when not to tell it. So the grand manipulation, that's being written by Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, who's the former Assistant Treasury Secretary under Ronald Reagan. And I have to tell you, of everyone I listen to, watch, and know, there's no one with more geopolitical and economic insights than him from a place from the inside. Boy, he's some guy. Yes. And and um, the other trends are, you see, going on with the oil prices. You know, a lot of people want to say, you know, it's a conspiracy to bring down Russia. It's only bringing down Russia. We have 20% of the, the junk bonds in the United States are energy-related, built on this whole fracking boom. You're going to see states taking a hit from North Dakota and and places like Houston if these prices continue to stay down. They already stopped a pipeline going from North Dakota to Oklahoma. It was one of the most heavily traveled areas for fracking. They were going to put another line in. So this is hurting Venezuela. It's hurting Iran. It's hurting Nigeria. It's hurting a lot of countries. Okay, Gerald, well, Gerald, we're going to break real quick. We'll be right back from the break, and we'll continue with you when we come back. And, again, this is Gerald Salente from Trends Forecast Journal. Uh, stay tuned. He'll finish the rest of these trends when we get back from this break.
we've all heard about antibiotics. But what about probiotics? Antibiotic means against life. Probiotic means pro-life. Antibiotics kill bacteria that are infectious and harmful to the body. They also kill the good bacteria, though, that are necessary for good health. Probiotics from Living Streams replaces the healthy balance of friendly bacteria and normalizes the digestive tract. Gastritis, ulcers, diarrheal diseases, just a few of the problems people develop when the intestinal flora is out of balance. Living Streams probiotics create the healthy balance needed for good digestion, suppresses growth of pathogenic bacteria, and actually increases resistance to infection. Call the Power Hour, 877-817-9829. Order your Living Stream probiotics today. They're available in 2, 4, and 8-ounce bottles, and Living Streams probiotics comes with a money-back guarantee. Get your body back in balance with Living Streams Probiotics today. 877-817-9829. That's 877-817-9829. Living Streams Probiotics. Everyone should be pro-life. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Many fact if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. Welcome back to the Power Hour. I'm hosting this morning. My name is Ted Brower, and I'm having the privilege and the pleasure of interviewing Gerald Salente this morning. And let me say something about you real quick, Gerald. You'll get a kick out of this. You know, every once in a while I'll be playing my iPad in the house, and I'll be listening to a interviewer, reviewer, a news talk show or whatever, and my wife's always saying to me, Ted, turn that off, turn that off, turn that off. I don't want to hear anymore. And every time, Gerald, I'm playing an interview that you've been on, and she hears your voice, she goes, oh, that's Gerald Salente. Can you turn that up? I want to hear what he has to say. <laughs> oh, how nice. Thank you. Well, no, but it's true, though. I mean, you're so to the point, and you're so cutting edge with what you do that uh, you're making an impact. And I, that's why I just feel privileged this morning to have you on the Power Hour. And, you know, you, we have millions of listeners here, and I want you to be able to speak to them this morning. And I want to just kind of give you free reign. But it's just that, uh, it's just that you have it's just a, it's such an exceptional delivery with what you do and how you basically tell the folks. Are you going to be able to stay with us, take a few phone calls this morning, or you got a tight timeline? Uh, I think I think I could stay till about nine twenty. Okay, that'd be great. That works for you. That that works great for me. As long as you want to stay, it's fine with me. If you want to give us a call this morning, uh, you can give us a shot at one eight five five nine nine five six nine two three. That's eight five five nine nine five six nine two three. That's Gerald Salenti. A question, and a lot of you get to hear him on radio and TV talk shows, but you never get a chance to ask him a question. But I want to ask you a real quick question, Gerald, if I can. This constant rigging of the comics and the futures markets with the precious metals and all the naked shorts that they're doing that uh, Paul Craig Roberts talks about so much, when is that going to end? It's not, nothing is going to end until the people uh, decide that they've had enough. It, it really goes back to the human spirit. 
you know, I've been at this a lot of years, and uh, if anyone expects the Republicans, or, I'm a political atheist. You know, I don't believe in this stuff, really. I, I began my career at, at, right out of graduate school. I'm going back to, you know, 1970. I was running political campaigns in Westchester County, which was the richest county, you know, in the United States at the time. And they sent me up to Albany. I was the assistant to the secretary of the New York State Senate, you know, 23 years old. And I guess I got there right away, and I saw what it looked like. And to me, the Republicans and the Democrats are no different than the Bloods and the Crips. And I don't say that sarcastically. How many more millions of people do they have to kill in the name of bringing freedom and democracy to another country? And how much more money do they have to steal of ours to do dirty deals with their friends? like too big to fails. So nothing is going to change until the people change. It's kind of like Margaret Mead said. You know, when enough people decide, then, uh, then it changes. And I believe that the, the opportunity's never been better than now. Again, going back to the elections, and you're looking at how few people voted. I mean, if, 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 if 36% of the people voted in a Russian election, that'd be headline news. Ha! They can't stand who's running over there. But here it doesn't even make the news when I go back to the manipula manipulation. And, and by the way, on May 2nd of this coming year, 2015, we're, the mayor has given us permission to close down the streets here in Kingston, New York, at the most historic four corners. It's John and Crown Street, the only intersection where there's a pre-Revolutionary War stone building on each corner. And we're launching Occupy Peace. And Occupy Peace is built upon the foundation of what this nation was founded on and to honor thy founding fathers, beginning with Washington. No foreign entanglements. Bring That's all right. the troops. Rebuild America. And, you know, it's big news. Oh, they're all out there. Obama, Hegel... Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, all shooting their mouth off about the great victory and what we've done in Afghanistan <laughs> and how our combat mission has ended. Hey, where's the victory parade? Yeah. And, and it was it was city. But what was interesting, Gerald, they had, to have, they had to hold the victory little thing under super tight security because they were afraid they are going to get shot. And the, the nuttiest thing about all of it is that, you know, Afghan now is the uh, primary supplier of heroin and opium in the world. Ninety percent of the world's supply of heroin comes out of Afghanistan, and it wasn't like that until we had our big victory over there. Yeah, you're 100% right. When the Taliban had it, there was virtually nothing coming out of there. That's right. Now, now, what do you think about the GOP front runner being? I know you're political. Ah, they were all, they were all nobodies to me, man. Well, I know, but what do you think about Clinton name. and Bush leading the pack again? Again, you know, it's, it's disgusting. I know. It's a shame. It's, it, 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 this is America that we got these two people out there. That's it. That's right. You know. Anyway, going back, we were talking about. You know, I didn't. I was talking about the oil, oil prices. Mm -hmm. Well, one of our big trends is price war. It's not only oil prices that are down, it's copper, it's iron ore, it's corn. There's too much supply and not enough demand. You saw this holiday season, 70% off. When I was a kid, they would have a 50% sale, and that was after the holidays and when nothing was left. There's too much product, not enough demand. It all ties together. It goes back to one of the first questions you asked me about the economy. The jobs stink. Real wages are down. Pew Research Center came out with a study a week ago, and they're showing that the gap between the rich and the poor is the widest ever, ever in the United States. We're, we're looking at median household income levels below 1999 levels. And it's not only in the U.S., Hey, they're having an election over there. They, they just failed again in Greece. The market's down 10%. They're going to hold a snap election. Gee, I thought when they brought in all those technocrats, stole all the people's money in the name of austerity measures, things were going to improve. There's a recession. There's a depression in Greece, a depression in Spain, a depression in Portugal, a recession in Italy. 
So what I'm saying, you have unemployment now in uh, in France is over ten percent. What you're looking at is loads of supply and low demand. So price wars is going to be a big one. Gerald, why do you think that's happened? Why are the people, are they just all broke? Is that why we're basically not buying anything anymore? Have we just gotten ourselves so far into debt that we're basically no, we no longer have any discretionary income? Exactly. Again, you look at the jobs that are being created. You know, healthcare workers, I mean, I love that they call it hospitality sectors. You yeah, make it beds in hotels and waitresses and bartenders. That's right. I mean, they're great, you know, those are nice jobs, you know, when you're a kid. You know, you're a bartender, waitress, you know, you're going through. You know, because unlike in in Europe, where waiters and bartenders make real wages, you know, they don't get tipped. Here you have to get tipped. That's not a job, you know, to consider for the rest of your life, particularly if you went to college. Now you got a degree, and what do you mean? point what three trillion dollars worth of debt? Yeah, we, we talked about you. What, what, what do you think about all the kids that are taking out all these student loans now, and that's only eighty percent of them, eighty percent aren't even using their degrees? That's what I'm saying. You get degrees in worthlessness, that's and, right. and, 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 you, and you can't do anything with them. Yeah, so it goes back. Everything's connected, and and the, and the criminality of it is not only that they're charging. You know, I, I, my my friend was up here to visit me. The kid, two group kids grew up together. He lives in Phoenix. He came to Kingston for the you know, in the area. We were talking, but he went to Syracuse University, and this is back in the 60s, and he got a degree in engineering, a real bright guy. He's one of the top schools at the time. $2,000 a year, including room and board. Hmm. And the same with me. It's $2,000. It was, it was cheap back then. I went to school back in the 70s, too. It was very inexpensive back then. And so what you have now, you had people like the great liberals, the great Democrats, Republicans, uh, I mean, <laughs> Bidens <laughs> and Clintons that push through these regulations and laws that now make it almost impossible for these kids to beat these heavy debt that they got out of college. They're essentially indentured servants. Can you imagine getting out of college with eighty, ninety thousand dollars $90,000 worth of debt? My what God, do you, what your do you life think, is ruined. What do you think about George Bush when he changed the bankruptcy laws? And back in the 70s, of course, they changed it, too, that you couldn't file bankruptcy on student loans. What do you think about that? Well, when that that's is financially one. destitute, they have to file bankruptcy, but the student loans are exempt. I'm telling you, that would, would, that came into play under Clinton. That's right. And Biden pushed that through after the after, when Bush came in. That's right. So those are the ones that did it. That's what I was saying. The great Democrats. They're the ones that made these people indentured servants. So well, nothing is going to change until the people change. And when enough people have had enough, then you know, look what's going on in Europe. You have new third parties coming out of nowhere. That's right, especially out Germany. Of nowhere. Sweden, Spain, Portugal, Greece, Italy. There, this is the future. It's not with the mob in control. We got a gang of 535. That's how many senators and congressmen telling 315 million people how to tie their shoes. No, it's crazy. I mean, you're absolutely right. I mean, what, how do we wake the people up, Gerald? I mean, how do we do that? I mean, you're so effective, but how do we get the masses to listen to what's going on? How do we wake them up where they have, have they put in such a state of learned helplessness now they can't be awakened? Well, it's a critical mass. It's the it's the hundredth monkey. You know that story when you know after a hundred monkeys did it in one island around Japan, an island that wait not even connected. They started doing it in that island. It's your show. It's what you're doing. What I'm doing. And when enough people do it, then it clicks. That's all it is. Do you think and the I United believe... States will be able to click before the United yes. States basically yes. is no That's longer United States? Here. That's why I didn't leave this country. People, how come you didn't leave? Because this is my, I couldn't be me if I was born anywhere else. Like I say, my blood is Italian, but my heart's American. I couldn't be, you can, this is the land of opportunity. Now they're trying to take it away from us. No, let them, I either love it or leave it. No, let them leave it. I love it. They're the ones that are ruining it. 
no, you're absolutely right. I mean, the thing about it is if everybody left the United States, there won't be any United States left. I mean, that's how you have to look at it. I mean, it'll be gone. The United States will go into the ash heap of history. Now, I know that uh, we've got a bunch of phone calls coming in for you. Uh, if Scott will take them off the board right now. Gerald, are you going to be able to stay with me another break, or are we about done? Uh, I can stay with you another break. I'll stay another break. Is it okay, good. It's up to 9.30. Okay, good. Well, we're going to break right now. We come back. I want Scott to go and take these phone calls that are coming in. Our boards are lit up with calls for Gerald Salente. So uh, let's go ahead and take some phone calls. Author of the Trends Journal. I want everybody to subscribe to the Trends Journal. Big Pharma. Hi, it's Joyce Riley with the Power Hour to tell you about the powerful benefits of Strauss Heart Drops. Many people today are locked into the routine of taking multiple prescription drugs. Strauss Herb Company believes that everything the body needs is provided by nature. Strauss Heart Drops may clear congested arteries, restore damaged muscle, maintain healthy cholesterol levels, and flush toxins and metals from the body. They may even be helpful in treating varicose veins. And unlike prescription drugs that are packed with chemicals, Strauss Heart Drops are 100% natural and harness the healing power of herbs like garlic, cayenne, white willow bark, and mistletoe. For the full line of Strauss products, I urge you to call the Power Hour at 877-817-9829. That's 877-817-9829. Or visit thepowermall.com. And remember, beware of knockoffs. Get the original. Get Strauss Heart Drops. Experts at Web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current Web.com customers. We've used and and looked at other website designers, but there's nobody better than Web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. That's 800-297-0154. Gold is it for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30%, while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us, and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well. Free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. The CDC just announced flu vaccines may have the wrong strain of flu virus. You may not be protected. Whatever your lifestyle, your immune system is critical, and Immudine provides your immune support. Doctor recommended, stimulant free, and not found in pharmacies. Go to Immudine.com to find out more or to place an order, or call 866-257-8668. That's I M M U D Y N E dot com or 866-257-8668. Remember, Immudine is key support for your immune system. We've been patiently waiting. Waiting while you tried to ignore us. Waiting while you acted like we didn't exist. Waiting for our chance to be taken seriously. The wait is over. GCN is available 24-7 at GCNlive.com. Navigate through news from your favorite hosts and download archives of past shows. Download the app on your smartphone or tablet. Or visit GCNlive.com for instant access and live streaming. GCNlive.com, the future of talk radio. Now at your fingertips. Good morning and welcome back. This is Ted Brower, host of the Power Hour this morning. My guest is Gerald Salente, founder and director of the Trends Research Institute. 
Uh, he is a trends forecaster, and he publishes the Trends Journal. I want everybody to go online and basically pull up the Trends Journal and go ahead and subscribe to the Trends Journal with Gerald Salente. He's been kind enough to come on the show this morning with us. If you've got any phone calls for him, you give us a call at 855-995-6923. That's 855-995-6923. He's been gracious enough to say basically he'll answer a few phone calls. So we have some, a couple of lines open. The rest of them are all full already. Let's, have, let's get as many questions as we can for Gerald this morning. One quick question I have for you, Gerald. Gold and silver right now, since they've shorted it, it's gotten so low in price again. Do you think this 30% or 40% that has come down now is the correction that's going to get, or is it a safe investment now, or would you recommend buying physical metal? Well, I don't give investment advice from a forecaster. We're forecasting. Hey, gold has a – to us all along – uh, when, when it's been around the 1200 mark, we said it has a downside risk of about uh, 100 to 150 dollars, but that's nothing for a downside risk as we see it for gold. I've been buying gold since 1978, and to me, gold I don't trade it; I buy it and put it away. So to me, gold is my golden years. And as we did in the Trends Journal, one of the issues, you know, bucks, bitcoins, a bullion. You know, so why would I want to be in any of the other ones? Again, this is only a Ponzi scheme being kept up uh, uh, by uh, cheap money flowing into the world economy. China just announced it to keep their their bubble going uh, from from bursting. It's deflating already. They just announced a couple of hundred uh, billion more dollars thrown into the uh, system. We, you're going to see this year probably in the EU they're going to come up with um, bond buying, but not only government but corporate buying. And um, you see in the States, you saw with, in the beginning of the month uh, the markets were taking a hit, and then they came back with be patient. You know, we're going to have patience, rather. Uh, we're not going to raise interest rates. Haven't they raised interest rates since 2006? Wow. So Gerald, at some Gerald, point, it's going to blow. Gerald, we got a phone call from John in Texas. Go ahead, John in Texas. You got a question for Mr. Salente? Yes. Uh, yes, Mr. Salente. I have some property up in the Panama area, and I'm retired military. And I was trying to see what do you, uh, what's your trends with the South American uh, groups down there. I'm trying to figure this out. Well, the um, what, what I was talking about before with the with the lowering of oil prices, it's going to hit. It's, it's hitting commodities across the across the board. So if you're in Chile, Bolivia, Brazil, you know, there, there's, it's going to be difficult times. It's not, there's not going to be uh, uh, an economic boom, so they're not going to be able to export their natural resources. So it, it's you know it's uh, it's iffy. You know, so uh, for me, you know, places uh, you know, I, I don't. I was looking at Uruguay, Chile, Argentina, uh, other areas. It, it's just not in my blood, but um, I don't think it's going to explode in the sense that there's going to be uh, massive riots, uh, except in places like Venezuela. So I think Panama, for what it is, and being that there's so much trade via the canal, I think it's going to have a level of stability that other places won't have. Okay. Thank you so much for calling, John. Sandra in Tennessee, question for Mr. Salente. Yes. Hi. What book would you guys recommend for paying back a student loan for people that are on Social Security and if in collections also? What book? Go ahead, yeah, Go ahead Gerald. That's not in my field. I really don't know. Okay. Uh, Carol in Washington, you've got a question for Mr. Salente. Go ahead, Carol in Washington. Hello? Yes, Carol, go ahead. You got a question. I can't believe it. We're almost out of time. Go ahead. Okay, you guys um, never talk about gold confiscation. We've done it in the past. I mean, they have. No, I talk why about do you, it. Why do you, okay. well, Carol, you Carol, Carol thanks, for, gonna... thanks for calling. Carol, go ahead, Gerald. What do you think? Yeah, I talk about it often. No, I don't think they'll do it this time. It's a different time. It's too spread out. People are hip to it because it happened before. So the smart people aren't leaving it in banks, and they're taking possession of it and putting it in places where the government won't be able to get it. And that's why you see a lot of it going offshore as well. I don't think they'll do it this time. It's, it's too much out there. Too many people have it, and it's it's um, there, there would really be a uh, a fight against it. So I don't think it will happen. But again, 
I don't leave my I for me, I got burned already with MF Global. I was one of those people. So uh and, and I believe they'll also call the bank holiday holiday. Isn't that a nice word to steal your money? <laughs> uh, well, Gerald, so you I, stay another, another, uh, another break we could go. Or no, I really have to run this time. Gerald, thank you so much for being on with us this morning. Thank you. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. America's largest independently owned communications network, GCN. On Facebook, on the news, and in conversations with friends, we're bombarded every day with advice on how to be healthier. From gluten-free and non-GMO diets to how much exercise and sleep the body needs. But how much have you heard about alkalizing the body? AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops are a holistic and natural way to get your body's pH levels back in balance. Just a few drops in water will help your body rid itself of harmful waste. And even the healthiest of diets can be complemented with your daily use of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops. Who isn't looking for more vibrant vigor and energy? Now buy two bottles of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops and get $10 off your order. Visit AlkaVision.com or call 800-518-7615. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops are packed with a powerful combination of the most alkaline minerals and compounds. Open the door to greater health, vitality, and zest for life. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health. Call 800-518-7615 or head to AlkaVision.com. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and Installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1 855 905 MyTV. 1 855 905 MyTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1 855 905 MyTV. 1 855 905 MyTV. The experts at Web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current Web.com customers. We've used and and looked at other website designers, but there's nobody better than Web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. That's 800-297-0154. Uh, thanks so much. I appreciate you guys staying with me. I apologize for some of the phone calls not getting answered. Uh, we had some issues there at our at our operating system as far as. Uh, uh, folks not being able to get through. We uh, apparently so many people hit the lines all at once, so it didn't work real well. So let's try that again. Phone number this morning is eight five five nine nine five six nine two three. That's eight five five nine nine five six nine two three. We've got Ann in Ohio, and then the few other lines are open. So if you want to call in, call in right now. We're going to be talking about all of it this morning about the pot being sold in 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 in, in, uh, in Colorado, whether that's being in the lawsuits that are taking place, what's going on, all the stuff that Gerald talked about. So let's go to Lauren in Ohio. Lauren, you want to talk about the Supreme Court? Good morning. I want to tie together your couple of your topics that you were saying with, with this Supreme Court decision. First off, you need knowledge, not college. It's a miseducation and a misdirection. Remember when Gruber came out and said Americans were financially ignorant and that's how they passed Obamacare? 
Well, you're paying all your money to get ignorant. Whatever you're um, – and the other thing you were talking about, um, I just want to say whatever you focus your attention on expands. What the mind thinks, the hands do. So when you're saying we need to not pay so much attention to the negative, I know that's what you're meaning. So for people who don't understand that you're not saying just ignore what's going on around you. That's what that's saying. Yeah, you're saying that in your life every day, what they're doing isn't the point. You've got a job to do here, and that's what you need to be focused on. Now, with regard to the Supreme Court decision and when this all ends, it ends when we stop obeying lies. you got a couple of people in black robes. I call them criminals in suits. And in this case, it's criminals in robes. But I call them sissies. Here are the American ignorant, selfish, you know, they're arrogant, ignorant, selfish Americans, the American ace. is are they, are, they, are they the girly men? They're the girly men, honey, and they're obeying <laughs> sissies. You're obeying I like sissies. you, I like here's... you, Lauren. You got, you're preaching to the choir right now. Keep going. Okay, so, but here's the thing. They're saying ignorance is no excuse of the law. Well, that's for them. That's for people who work for the government. It's their job to know it. What they're doing is just straight up lying to you, but they've been lying to your kids in schools, and now they believe the lies. That's so right. here's the solution. Obey God first. That's Keep right. your money in your pocket. Keep your children in your home and boycott big business. U.S. government is the largest corporation in the world. And none of this stuff could be happening if we weren't doing what they said. So it does not pay to be ignorant. You are going to have to buck up and start. It's not a Prayer is not just a, a, a talk. It's a walk. So That's get right. your kids out of those schools. I love what you did with homeschooling your children. I'm doing the same. Thanks. And what a what a beautiful blessing that is. You know, I really do like hearing you talk about these things. And I do like you talking about God because you can't get through this without the truth. So, you know. Well, no, that's why. That's why. I didn't mean to cut the one today. caller. The, the one caller who called earlier who was reading the scripture to me, I'm okay with that if we were doing a full Bible study, you know, radio show. I just right, like right. to mention. I know I, I, but see, my, my, here, and I'll tell you this right now, and I haven't told this to the audience yet, but since I really like you, Lauren, by the way, you, I, like, I like intelligent callers. Not that my callers aren't always intelligent, but I like some of them better than others. And here's what's interesting about this. My number one priority in my life, bar none, is, is Yahweh. God Almighty, okay? My relationship with Jesus Christ to Yahweh, that's it. That's, that's it. That's number one. Number two is, and in fact, years ago, God spoke to me in a dream. My first language is perfect German. Someday I'll tell the audience what he told me in this perfect dream of perfect German, I guess you could say. And it's not what you think it would be. And that he wasn't out loud, but it was audible in the dream. Now, second, is my relationship with my wife. And I tell my children, I say, look, kids, here's how it works. You guys are going to be gone, doing your own thing. And my wife and I, your mom and I, are going to be here without you guys. And so my relationship with her comes pri- is priority over you guys. Now, you guys are number third on that list. And, of course, after that comes my career and my job and, and doing things like helping Joyce out on the radio show this morning. So that's why I, that's how I look at life. And you are absolutely right, Lauren. Here's the thing. We have to be, uh, be aware of the negative. That's okay. You can't pretend like it's not there. You can't be happy, happy, happy all the time and say it's never going to go bad because bad things happen to good people. But here's what I've also learned. You can't be dwelling on the negative. It's kind of like this when you're skiing downhill and you're snow skiing downhill. Wherever you look is where you're going to go. So you've got to kind of glance over, see what's going on, and say, you know what? I understand what's going on. I'm going to tell as many people as I can about what's going on. But I'm going to stay focused on what I'm doing. I'm going to be here trying to help people doing the best I possibly can. But you're exactly right. We've got to take action on what we're doing. And that's why we decided to homeschool many, many years ago. And I told you the story last week when I was on. I had them in a private school. It was All Saints uh, here in Central Florida. And I, they were putting up happy, happy holiday signs instead of Merry Christmas. They're a Christian school. They're Episcopal. And I told them, I said, you do it again, guys. I'm not threatening you. I'm letting you know, though, that I'm going to pull the kids out. It's not happy holidays to me. It's Merry Christmas. It's about Jesus Christ's birthday. And that's what we're celebrating now, not about how much stuff we can buy and about the holiday season. And that's how I look at it. But what do you, what do you think about what I just said there, Lauren? I think it's absolutely true. And I think it's good because what happens is you've got a country of followers. They follow the stars. They follow, they're spectators. That's when right. they see these beautiful homeschool children succeeding, excelling, with joy in their hearts and, and appreciating the service that they're here to do, they want some of that, too. And that's what I'm saying. People will start withdrawing, and I'm talking about non-Christians. They'll start homeschooling, too, just because they see the advantage of it, not so much that they want to serve God, even though in the productive activity of raising your own children upright in truth, they are serving God. But they'll do it because everybody else or the people who are successful are doing it. And so I'm trying to encourage people to do the right thing instead of, you know, beat you with the Bible, do it or you'll die. Uh, Because the abundance that Christ has in store for you, if you'll just do things his way and be respectful of the truth, we're here to be productive and constructive, not to destroy and dismantle. And that's what's happening here because we've rejected the truth. 
Well, you know, you know what, you know what, it, it's true that you say that because, I mean, the Bible doesn't give us the Ten Suggestions, it gives us the Ten Commandments, and it's Amen. not that we have to be, it's not that we have to be beaten with the Ten Commandments, but we need to pay attention to it. These are principles the Word gives us. It's kind of like eating pork. The Old Testament tells us not to eat pork. If you look in the Biological Therapy, Volume 1, Number 2, 1983, by Professor Rahans Reckwig, the name of the article is called The Adverse Influence of Pork Consumption on Health. He, he calls pork a homotoxin, a human being poisoned, that like 37 different diseases are transmitted from pigs into humans. Now, I'm not saying that. That's what the biological therapy is saying. In addition to that, God's word says don't do it. And that's not a suggestion. That's something that he tells us to do. Now, it also tells us in Timothy that, you know, basically we're to pray over and eat it. But when he's talking about that, he's talking about praying over it and eating it because it's sanctified by the word of God or the Torah and prayer. And the Torah in that time when the book of Timothy was being written was the Old Testament was the five first books of Levitical law. Of course, we know that. But the point is, these are not suggestions that God gave us. And when we stood behind Christian principles, we stood behind the Torah and the Old Testament guidelines that God gave us. Our country flourished and it prospered when we left all that behind us and we started doing the things that the globalists wanted to do and all of the satanic nonsense they got going on now. Then the country starts to deteriorate from inside, and that's exactly what's happened to the United States. We've stopped raising little Americans. We've stopped raising them on the way the country was founded. What do you think about that, Lauren? I think you're absolutely right. Where the spirit of Christ is, there is freedom, and that's why that's Germany right. is so concerned with all these Islamics moving into their country right. because this is a lie. You're letting a lie lead you and america's doing the same thing we had better cut this out with all this illegal immigration and 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 act and not doing anything about it obama a criminal the attorney general a criminal i want to see some trials for treason or i want to hear about how much you love your country you don't live your life voting once every two years you live it every day life happens every day so every day it's will i obey god this day and that's that's it we either do it or we lose it you know, I asked my dad one time, I was talking to him about the United States and the deterioration of our culture. This is back in the 70s. My dad was born in 1901. I just sound young. <laughs> I was 60. My father was born in 1901. I was 50, He was 54 when I was born. So my dad right now would be, uh, what, uh, over 100 years of age. And what's interesting about this, uh, dad, and I, dad and I were talking one time because he had been, he was born before World War One. saw World War One, saw World War Two, saw the Great Depression, saw everything. And he said to me one time, he said, you know, the problem with Americans today is they stopped raising little Americans. They said this is exactly what happened with Rome. The reason Rome fell, Rome lost its values and its virtues and it stopped raising little Romans. And it was basically they were bringing all these foreign people in and all the stuff that they were doing and they were just it's on and on and on. But that's exactly right. We, when we stand firm in what we know to be the truth, we can stop this onslaught of globalism. We can stop this onslaught against our country. But we as Americans have to do exactly what you just said. We've got to pull our kids, if possible, out of the school system. We've got to stop letting them be indoctrinated into this of satanic communist system that basically we call the homeschool system and the common core and realize that we've got to stand firm with what we know to be the truth, Lauren. Well, God bless you. I, now I see why you're so smart. Mother from Germany and dad born in 1901. Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it's so been cool. a, well, I was, I'm was i just old school. My parents, my kids are always saying, Dad, you're just so old-fashioned. I'm like, I can't help it. I said, my dad's over 100 now if he was still alive. My mom would be over 100, 100 this year. And I said, I can't help it. I was raised by people that basically had seen a lot and had done a lot. And uh, it's just one of those things. That, that's how I was raised. I mean, my mom always taught me, you know, you all, you've got to store a little bit of food. You've got to store a little bit of water in case there's a storm and whatever or a hurricane here in Florida. And plus, she had already gone through all the stuff that happened in Germany with the massive shortages and the millions of Germans that died after World War II, after World War II. And, uh, you know, we could do another whole show on that. But, Lauren, I enjoyed the phone call. Thank you so much. i got to take another phone call. Thank you, okay, Lauren. Okay, just remember there's nothing new under the sun. That's what Ecclesiastes says. You're there absolutely is. right. Take That's care. right. Let's talk to Dave in New York. Go ahead, Dave. Can you hear me now? Uh, Dave, I hear you great, buddy. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Just uh, something she had mentioned or whatever, uh, the book, The Final Jihad, that was written by Governor Keating's brother, the subtitle on that is, When the, the Best of the Worst Finally Come for Us, which, of course, seems like it's going to be ISIS. How did they know 20 years, 30 years ahead of time that, you know, all this was going to work out in order? What I, what I really want to talk about was in Go June, ahead. in June, I believe, the uh, – Congress or Senate, they're going to vote on uh, banning, you know, certain speech on the Internet. And I'm wondering if isn't if that won't become sort of like uh, the fairness doctrine where, you know, which wasn't fair, but we'll, we'll only get one side. If they get rid of Drudge and, and people, you know, like yourself, uh, 
you know, we're going to be in the matrix without any uh, reality. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's true, Dave. That's why we always have the Bible. The problem is that they've so discounted the Bible and the Word of God. And, and they basically, I remember when I was a little kid, and I still can remember this. I was in second grade. I was like seven years old. It was like 1962. And I had to memorize John 3.16, and they gave me a Bible in school for doing that. And then like the following year or so, they decided they were going to take Bible, you know, the religion out of the schools and God out of the schools. And they did. God departed. Ichabod happened. And so now the Spirit has departed from our school systems. Now we have a generation of kids that we can't even control anymore without drugs. And we've got 10 million kids taking the drug Ritalin or Adderall and Concerta. Uh, they don't bother to tell anybody these are Schedule II drugs in the same category with morphine, opium, Percodan, and Demerol. I wrote a whole book on this. And what's crazy about it is a lot of these drugs are then combined with tricyclic antidepressants, which end up causing all of these kids, basically, the, you know, that you see in these school shootings, almost invariably every single one of them, including at Florida State a few weeks ago, was taking these tricyclic antidepressants, which makes you, in some cases make you want to go shoot people and then kill yourself. I mean, it's insanity. It's like we have a drug culture. And uh, we're going to talk to John Rappaport tomorrow about that in depth. Okay, guys, listen to me for a second because, you know, we're coming up to a break here in a minute. You got to stay tuned, you know, for the show tomorrow and next week because we're bringing on some of the top people in the world for this show for Joyce with the Power Hour. The people that I've listened to all of my, you know, career here as far as this alternative media, the people that I think are the best of the best of the best. So it's really important that we keep Joyce's numbers up, that we continue to support her and the Power Hour Mall and realize that, you know, if it wasn't for Joyce doing this show all of those years ago and staying with it all of these years, I wouldn't be here right now, and you wouldn't be listening. And so hopefully you've learned a little bit this morning. But anything else you want to add to, this, to my comments there, Dave? I'm not going to allow 3D goggles into my house for the kids. <laughs> I'm not letting them in either, Dave. In fact, I'm so funny, I don't even let the kids play with the iPads or the computers. And uh, I just don't do it. I just tell them, say, guys, you don't need all that stuff. I didn't have all that stuff. That goes back to my uh, 1901 daddy. And, and basically, uh, I just don't see any point in it. I like the kids reading. I mean, my little daughter, she's 12 years old. She's absolutely brilliant. You can watch her if you want to, see what she can do. Uh, Savannah Brower, S-A-V-A-N-A-N-A-H, Brower, B-R-O-E-R, sing Silent Night, Holy Night. You can watch her on YouTube. Uh, she's got almost 10,000 views. And she sings the entire Silent Night, Holy Night, in the original language of German, all three verses in front of almost 4,000 people. And you can watch her. That's what kids can do. That's what they're capable of doing when you don't give them all of this nonsense to take up all of their time and you allow them to expand their abilities without giving them all kinds of drugs and chemicals and fluoride and everything else into their little bodies. But you'll love the way she sings, Silent Night, Holy Night. It's still, it's still the holiday season, Christmas season, so we can do that. So uh, basically everybody listen to that. Dave, thank you so much for calling. Let me, have a, let me talk to Johnny in Missouri. Hey, Ted. Uh, hey, Johnny, good morning. Good morning. Blessings. You too, buddy. I, 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 I call you blessed, Johnny. Go ahead. Uh, I, I want to wish best wishes for you and all of our Power Hour team out here. Oh, thank you. I wish the same thing for everybody listening this morning. I mean, uh, happy New Year to everybody. I'm glad you guys are all staying with me around a holiday week. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I've got I know, my main subject was gold. Have we still got Gerald online? Gerald's gone. He only gave me half an hour this morning. He's super busy. I mean, good grief. I mean, the fact that we were able to ask Gerald Salente questions for half an hour, uh, that's pretty That's pretty cool, dude. I mean, this guy, he's hes big time. And for him to come on the Power Hour with us is just a blessing. And uh, I'm glad that we were able to get him on. But I could probably help you a little bit with that. But, again, I don't do any kind of investment advice. But what do you want to, what do you want to ask me about gold there, Johnny? Well, now, um, I, I had a email sent to me yesterday from Karen Hudis. Are you aware of Mrs. Hudis? I am not. <clears throat> okay. Well, she's a uh, World Bank whistleblower that's exposing the corruption that gone on on some of these. Is she, is she the one who said that there's a there's an interdimensional person or some type of uh, person who's running the World Bank? Is she the one who said that? Uh, it's I'm something not, strange she, like that. Could be. Yeah. She's. Yeah. I do believe she's part of the Light Worker Network. Okay. Which is a whole other subject. All in that's right. But, but, but what 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 she have to say? She made the comment that um, they discovered evidence that there's over six hundred thousand metric tons of gold available to the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we only know about a hundred, roughly one hundred twenty-five thousand metric tons. So what's that going to do to the price of gold? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, Johnny. I'm not sure about her because I know she's back with the World Bank again. I'm not sure if she's just a plant and she's the obfuscation and she's putting stories out there because I've never heard that. But I, I read that article she had written about that, but I'm, and it's supposed to be down in the Philippines. 
And and the thing about it is, I've never seen that anywhere else from anyone else. And there was something that had been done with the Catholic Church of the Philippines and stuff many, many years ago, and it's been in, just they've been hoarding it down there. But see, that's something they could always say if they're trying to push the prices of gold down lower to hold the United States currency from going into inflation. I don't know. I mean, I have no idea if any of that stuff is true. That's why I don't really report on stuff like that. I mean, every morning I get up like three hours before the show when I do the show, and I make sure I scan through all the stories that I read, even though they may be in a machine gun like approach. I, I try to go ahead and make sure I clear them in my own mind to find that they're credible what I think is good and bad and uh, that's why I haven't talked about what she has said so she said some interesting comments to make but I don't know anything about the uh, about the gold down in the Philippines that 600 or that 600,000 or 6,000 metric tons or whatever it is I haven't, I've not seen anything credible about that yeah that is an incredible amount but it, it makes sense if you follow the gold that was being pilfered from the Russian Empire prior to World War One and during World War II. Well, you know, what's interesting, I read a really good book this past week since we're talking about this, and it's, uh, it's, called, it's on the Bank of International Settlements, and, and basically it's called The Tower of Basel, and I recommend that book. It's an excellent book, and it talks about how the gold was transferred from all of the countries in Europe when Hitler took control through the Bank of International Settlements, which actually was being controlled by the Deutsche Bundesbank, and actually buying all of the war supplies they needed through Hitler, how they actually funded the Hitler war machine. And then Jim Mars, who we'll also have on the show, he also wrote a book called The Fourth Reich, and he has a new book coming out. He talked about how the German gold and the, and the great theft of the German uh, from, uh, from the Nazis as far as the wealth of Europe. So there's a lot of stuff going on. But, but Johnny, thanks for calling up. i gotta go to, I got to go to Wayne in Tennessee. Go ahead, Wayne. Oh, sorry, Wayne. We'll be back up for a Hi, it's Joyce Riley with the Power Hour. There's something really fun and exciting about discovering products that make life more pleasant and enjoyable. Well, Miracle 2 soaps definitely fit that description. The shelves at the supermarket are packed with soaps and cleansers that are full of chemicals that slowly destroy our health and the environment. Miracle 2 products are all natural, like the green soap that can replace your bath, laundry, household soaps, and cleaning products. And please try Miracle 2's Skin Lotion. It's quickly absorbed and not greasy like all those other mass-produced lotions. Miracle 2 Moisturizer is full of fabulous oils and emollients that leave the skin healthy and baby soft. I guarantee after you discover how amazing Miracle 2 products are, you'll recommend them to everyone you know. Just call 877-817-9829. That's 877-817-9829 or visit thepowermall.com. You'll learn why so many people say it's not just soap, it's a miracle. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what efforts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. Uh, at the top of the 
hour. We've got Ann Bob Barnhart coming on with us. Uh, she's one of my favorite speakers in America today. Let me read you a little bit about her. Ann Barnhart is an American patriot. She's ferociously principled and utterly fearless. Uh, she is uh, once a livestock and grain commodity broker. She released all of her clients because she lost confidence in the commodity and financial market to the fraud and the collapse of the global financial derivatives as far as with MF Global. She's an American patriot. And basically, she's going to be coming on with us in just a few minutes. So everybody, stay tuned. I want you to call up and ask her as many questions as you want. Uh, give me a phone call right now. It's 855-995-6923. Get into queue for her because it's going to be a, a fun hour with Anna. I hope she can stay with us the whole hour. It's 855-995-6923 for calls for Ann Barnhart. But right now, we need to go to Wayne in Tennessee. Go ahead, Wayne. Wayne, you're with me. Machine gun monologue this morning. It was very good. I liked that. Well, thank you. Say, thank you, Wayne. What I wanted to say was this. <clears throat> if uh, you said yourself this morning that the average IQ in America is around the 90s, somewhere in the 90s, okay? And I know from uh, from just being alive for 62 years. Well, we're the that, same age. We're good. <laughs> well, people... Uh, People don't have quite the uh, vocabulary uh, Arab, Arab, uh, aristocracy, if you will, of, of people who uh, who in the uh, the radio business they want to use a lot of different words instead of just plain old basic conversational words. I apologize, that Wayne. Have I done that? No, 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 you haven't. What I'm trying okay. to do is to I, I try not to do that. I was a college Come professor on. for years, and I try not to do that. Right. Well, when people get into uh, verbal acrobatics, they lose the audience. And good. I'm glad, I'm glad you tell me I didn't do it good. Yeah, all these things, all these things that people, I've heard so many commentators and some guests get on there, and they try to prove that they've studied dictionary. <laughs> well, it's okay, but if you've got an eighth grade education as an average understanding across this nation. That's right. Between sixth and eighth grade mm -hmm. uh, education, then you have to speak to people on those terms. No, and you know, it's, start, it's funny. It's, yeah. you're, you're, you're exactly right. I remember Zig Ziglar. I always talk about Zig because he was such a good friend. And, in fact, I told you guys before that I dedicated my first book to Zig. And right. Zig always told me that. He goes, Ted, when you speak... He goes, you've got a lot of college degrees. You've got to make sure that you make sure everybody can understand who doesn't have college degrees. He goes, because if you can't do that, then you're a poor communicator. That's what he told me. And he said, you've got to make sure that everybody understands what you're saying. So that's what I, I, was, I was hoping you were calling the fuss at me, Wayne. <laughs> no, 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 no. I love you. I love your uh, your commentary. I love your monologue. Especially Thank you. Because you, you hit on points, you get to this point, and get on to the next one. But people out there, if you will understand that if you're going to talk about something, talk about it like you're talking with your best friend, your old time chum, your 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 eight year old buddy, all the way up, you know, through your life. Your fire chat. And plain, yeah, your your plain language, and then your your audience will grow. If you get into polysyllabic terms, people are going to lose you. They're just going to. Start looking off into the sunset, and what you said makes no difference. So keep it simple, keep it to the point, and hey, Dad, we all understand it. Wayne, thanks so much for the positive feedback, buddy. Uh, Bill in Michigan, go ahead. You know, I hear Christians talking that, and I don't really, I kind of profess to be a Christian, but I just wonder, you know, you, you, you can't be a hypocrite to get in the kingdom uh, of heaven. And uh, if you, uh, you know, if you don't we're love We're almost fellow, out of time. Go ahead, Bill. Go ahead. We're almost out of time. You don't, go ahead. If you don't love your fellow man and hate the sin and love the sinner, then you're a hypocrite. So you got to love Stalin, Hitler, Reagan, all of them. I thank you very kindly. <laughs> Thanks, Bill, for calling. I probably got to pass on Hitler. But it's solid, but I do love Reagan. But we'll come back for the break with Ann Barnhart. We'll also take a net from West Virginia. And again, give us a call.